code. It's a free throw. If it's over legal, you can tell that I make it look easy. It's a cheat code. It's a free throw. If it's over legal, yeah. This is a 56 millimeter f1.2 lens for Fujifilm. And it's by a company that I'm very scared to pronounce. This is my biggest fear about making this video. I have no idea how to pronounce them. But luckily, I found this video of an employee actually saying the name. Uh, lens series from Siri. Siri, uh... Okay, so apparently it's Sirui. So I'm just gonna roll with that. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Sirui Sniper 56mm f1.2, which on paper should be perfect for portraits and low light scenarios. So I did the absolute worst case testing for this lens and took it to shoot a car and some portraits in the middle of the night with barely any light around. The first location was a random gas station and I don't know if it was the next 40 minutes of gasoline fumes that clouded my judgment, but I was quite excited about these images. You can tell that I make it look easy. It's a cheat code. It's a free throw. If it's over legal, you can tell that I make it look easy. It's a cheat code. It's a free throw. If it's over legal, yeah. You can tell that I make it look easy. You can tell that I make it look easy. You can tell that I make it look easy. Double take for a second look, bruh. You can tell that I make it look easy. You can tell that I make it look easy. You can tell that I make it look easy. Ain't no wonder why I got him shook. I wanted to add a bit more color to this scene, so I took this small RGB light, which I've shown in my last video, and set the color to cyan, and just plopped that right on the center console. For a lot of these images, I edited them to be film-like. This being a Japanese car from the late 80s, that 90s JDM aesthetic just fits perfectly. Any minute this could all fade to black. That's why we run it up. I want more, it's not enough. I ain't come for the runner up. I go in, I'ma win a cup. But I also wanted some clean images. The f1.2 aperture really helped here in these super low light conditions, but still my ISO was between 4000 and 8000 the entire time. Thank the Lord for the Lightroom denoising feature, because I've literally used it on almost every single photo from this shoot. For these shots, I set the small RGB light to 5500 Kelvin and positioned it on the inside so it hit Arion from the side. Repositioning the car under this sign with all of the gas prices gave a really cool reflection on the hood and allowed me to see how horrendously high gas prices in Germany still are without even looking up, which is great. <laughs> all of these images are edited with an upcoming version of my Analog Vibes Lightroom preset pack, the first version of which you can already buy and support me while doing whatever the hell I'm doing here. It's only five bucks, go, go check it out, please. Hey. Next to rock like Mick Foley, yeah. it's Nick Joby, kill him softly, play that shit slowly. slowly. On the keys like Tony, throwing subs, they get toasted about my bread like a hoagie. Yeah. This beat ice cold, look how I ride the Zamboni. I feel like old tiny good anywhere you We go. then headed to the next location, which was this relatively narrow alleyway. I'm not sure. I was not that big of a fan of this location, to be honest. We got our healthy habits. Hey. We've been already growing. Okay. It's like we're drowning in them. Yeah. It seems the levee's broken. Right. But it's not too late to change them. And refrain from being slaves to the vices that encage them. Hey. I'm writing on this page like I'm throwing hands. With Satan, don't run from all those demons, gotta stand your ground and face them. Sometimes you break, but through destruction comes a renovation. We all just trying to build a foundation. But I did get one shot here I quite like through the back window of the car. I really wanted to get some images on this shoot that had a cinematic feel. Say that. <laughs> and to give it some extra cinematic quality, I gave it a widescreen crop and a cheeky anamorphic flare. We then headed to the next location, which turned out to be super cool. But first, let's talk about the lens a bit more. This being a 56 mm lens on an APS-C sensor means that you have a full frame equivalent focal length of 85 mm, which is hands down my favorite for portraits. Coming in at 419 grams, it's very similar to Fujifilm's own XF 56 mm f1.2. The Sirui Sniper lenses come in different finishes. The one I have here is a black plastic finish with some carbon fiber. 
I have to say, I like the design of the Sniper series, because just like road bikers, I pitch a tent whenever I see carbon fiber. <laughs> a friend of mine said he thinks the design makes it look cheap, but to be honest, at this point, I'm just gonna give a standing ovation to any manufacturer that does something different than a standard black finish. It's like all of the camera companies just agreed on having the most boring possible lens designs while literally trying to sell creativity to their customers. Like. What the hell? <laughs> Anyways, we then headed to the next location. This might not seem like a super interesting photography spot because it's just a parking spot next to a shop window. But this is where this lens really shined. When you take a lens like this with an f1.2 aperture and get it as close to the ground as possible, the ground just melts. It's actually insane. This shot looks like he's standing on ice or something, but in reality it's dirty asphalt in the middle of Cologne. Oh yeah, and once again I have to thank the Lord for generative fill because that made removing this sign in the back super easy on all of these images. Ariane also had a model version of his car with him, which served as a really nice prop for some more portraits. I was once in a doctor's office and had this tiny little model of a human brain in my hand, and then the doctor walked in and said, yeah, for you that's a one-to-one -one scale model. And I've never been the same since. Just like my stock investments, I love getting the camera as close as possible to the ground. Though I had my GoPro on and that meant my GoPro was just pointing straight down towards my feet the whole time. And at this point in the video, I'm just running out of usable footage from this location. So we're just gonna move on to the next one. <laughs> One problem I was facing this entire shoot was that all of that yellow-orange light from the street lights gave such an ugly color cast to the images. I tried my best to edit all of those ugly oranges out, but the car is red, which is quite similar to orange, so it didn't always work as well as I had hoped. This lens is not that sharp wide open compared to the Fujifilm XF 56mm f1.2, but it sharpens up relatively quickly when you start closing down a bit. But one thing I really love about this lens is the bokeh it produces. It's soft and pleasant, the background is not distracting, it just looks super nice. It has a bit of that vintage bokeh characteristic and yeah, it's super super nice bokeh. I was worried about autofocus because Sirui is new to making AF lenses. They used to only make manual focus lenses, but autofocus is surprisingly quick. The AF motors feel very snappy and there is a USB-C port next to the mount of the lens for updating firmware so they can keep improving these lenses as well. The old XF 56mm is known for extremely slow autofocus, so this is a huge plus. Yeah, yeah. See, I ain't not ready for the wham. Energy's war, I've never been glam. Energy's sure like bars will land like a missile straight to the plan. Energy's more than everything, man. Energy's mad, don't mess with the ram. Certain things in life gotta overstand. That's disappointing, don't do this, man. With we headed to the next location, which was on top of this parking structure, and we even asked if it was okay if we shot a few photos for like 20 minutes, and the guy said it was fine. Though it was like after midnight on the first day of Christmas, so there wasn't exactly a lot going on. Floats 
too fast, too too constellation and stars, too too lost, too too hearts out of this world is I mostly got one good composition up here, which I really like because I feel like it complements the car really well. I also got a bunch of other shots with a different lens and the internal flash of the X-T30 because I wanted to get that disposable camera look, but I'm gonna save that for a different video. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe. So would I recommend this lens? I think it performed really well and Siri did a really decent job with this being one of their first autofocus lenses ever. Yeah, it's not the sharpest wide open, but chromatic aberrations and distortion are controlled well and the bokeh is extremely pleasant. All while the autofocus motors are surprisingly quick. Siri also gave me a discount code if you want to check it out, there's a link in the description. Okay, I, I didn't plan an outro for this video, so yep, goodbye.